journey was born on time. She was full term. She weighed exactly seven pounds, zero ounces. Healthy girl. Everything went really good. It was just really, really sweet to bring a little girl into a family that already had three brothers. When Journey was two months old, her stomach just was getting tighter and tighter. So I made an appointment to take her in. She was two months and two weeks old when I took her in to see Dr. Wagnon to get checked out. This is after the two-month checkup. Moms in the office uh, were talking, and I'm thinking in the back of my mind that something bad's going on. Um, so I didn't know exactly what it was. So we ordered a, a stat x-ray of the abdomen of her belly and it just showed a uh, massive enlargement of the of the liver maybe even the spleen uh, which was obvious on ex exam at that point which was not like that in the first two months but um, it makes sense looking back in the first two months that something was going on he sat there for a minute and he felt on her and he was real quiet and then he said you know i just i'm not sure i'm gonna send you over to have some x-rays done he didn't come in there for a long time i could hear him outside talking on the phone so i knew that he was getting second opinions or you know just kind of seeing what he needed to do and then when he came in he said this is not good he said we're um you know, I'm going to admit you to the hospital. We're, we're going to go on over right now. So with the big liver, uh, a sense of urgency took over. Uh, she was immediately admitted to the hospital here at Shannon Medical Center. And then she was transported uh, by fixed-wing airplane to Cook's Children's Medical Center, where they made the official diagnosis of neuroblastoma. We were both just devastated. It was a very, very emotional, trying time for us. Without panicking, we have to get them to the next step, which is a, a higher level of care, where they have the specialists needed to take care of these type of diagnoses. It was all so quick. Thursday, I'm at work getting ready to start the new school year. Now it's Sunday morning, and I've been told my newborn baby has cancer. I'm four hours away from my family. When they went in to test the tumor, and they were actually able to take the whole thing. However, the cancer had spread to her liver, so her liver was just so enlarged that they had to give her this chemo to, to shrink that. It was all such a, a whirlwind. She was just so little that they would not send her home after having surgery and her immune system being down. And then they also did bone marrow tests to see if the neuroblastoma was in her bone marrow. She had chemo every three weeks for 12 weeks. She still has neuroblastoma cells in her liver, but she has fewer and fewer each time that she has scans. She's progressing exactly how they expect her to progress. She's not expected to have any more chemo. She's, um, she's doing really, really well. It's so scary to have anybody with cancer, especially at that age. And she was only two months of age when she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. And to already defeat cancer, and she's only less than a year of age, uh, is pretty, pretty miraculous. She's here with us, and she's smiling and laughing and doing everything a little baby's supposed to do. Put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Children's Miracle Network provides the funding that we need to buy equipment with, educate our nurses, and to uh, just provide the best care possible here in the Concho Valley. Please help support the Children's Miracle Network. And help a miracle-like journey. Yeah.